Chapter 1 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Pharmacology In recent years, artificial intelligence has gained significant attention and momentum in various fields, including pharmacology. AI is a branch of computer science that involves the development of algorithms that enable machines to learn and perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. In pharmacology, AI has the potential to revolutionize drug discovery, development, and clinical trials, as well as enable personalized medicine. The use of AI in pharmacology has been growing rapidly, and it has become a hot topic in the pharmaceutical industry. AI is being used to analyze large data sets, identify patterns, and develop predictive models that can aid in drug discovery and design. AI is also being used to improve clinical trials by identifying patient populations and designing personalized treatments. Traditionally, AI is being used to optimize drug dosages and minimize adverse effects. The application of AI in pharmacology is based on machine learning and deep learning techniques. Machine learning algorithms enable computers to learn from data and make predictions or decisions based on that data. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves the development of neural networks, which can analyze and interpret complex data sets. These techniques are being used to analyze large volumes of data, identify novel targets for drug development, and develop predictive models. Furthermore, AI is being used to analyze molecular structures and develop new drugs that are more effective and have fewer side effects. AI is also being used to optimize clinical trial designs, identify patients who are most likely to benefit from a particular treatment and improve patient outcomes. The use of AI in pharmacology has the potential to revolutionize the drug discovery and development process. It can significantly reduce the time and costs associated with drug development and enable personalized medicine. However, there are also ethical and regulatory considerations associated with the use of AI in pharmacology that need to be addressed. In summary, AI has significant potential to transform the field of pharmacology. It can aid in drug discovery, development, and clinical trials and enable personalized medicine. The application of AI in pharmacology is based on machine learning and deep learning techniques and is growing rapidly. However, ethical and regulatory considerations need to be addressed to ensure the safe and effective use of AI in pharmacology. Chapter 1 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Pharmacology this chapter provides an overview of how AI is being used in pharmacology and drug discovery. It discusses machine learning and deep learning techniques and their applications in pharmacology. Chapter 2 Machine Learning and Deep Learning in Drug Discovery This chapter discusses how machine learning and deep learning are being used to identify drug targets, design new molecules, and predict drug properties. Chapter 3 Personalized Medicine with AI this chapter discusses how AI is being used to develop personalized medicine by analyzing patient data and identifying treatment options that are tailored to individual patients. Chapter 4 Clinical Trials and AI This chapter discusses how AI is being used to optimize clinical trial designs, identify patient populations, and improve patient outcomes. Chapter 5 Drug Dosage and Adverse Effects This chapter discusses how AI is being used to optimize drug dosages and minimize adverse effects. Chapter 6 Ethical and Regulatory Considerations in AI and Pharmacology This chapter discusses the ethical and regulatory considerations associated with the use of AI in pharmacology including data privacy, bias, and transparency. Chapter 7 Future Directions for AI in Pharmacology this chapter discusses the potential future applications of AI in pharmacology, including virtual screening, drug repositioning, and drug repurposing. Chapter 8 Case Studies in AI and Pharmacology This chapter presents case studies of the successful application of AI in pharmacology, including the discovery of new drug targets, the optimization of clinical trial designs, and the development of personalized medicine. Chapter 9 Conclusion and Future Outlook This chapter provides a summary of the book 
and discusses the future outlook for the use of AI in pharmacology, including the need for continued research and development, ethical considerations, and regulatory oversight. Chapter 3 Historical Background of AI in Pharmacology Artificial Intelligence has had a profound impact on many fields, including pharmacology. However, the use of AI in pharmacology is a relatively new phenomenon, and it has taken many years of research and development to reach its current state. This chapter provides a historical background of the development of AI in pharmacology. The roots of AI in pharmacology can be traced back to the 1970s when computer programs were first used to simulate drug actions. However, these programs were limited in their capabilities and were not very effective at predicting drug actions or interactions. The development of machine learning algorithms in the 1980s led to a significant improvement in the accuracy and effectiveness of these simulations. In the 1990s, the use of AI in pharmacology started to become more widespread. Researchers began using machine learning techniques to predict drug toxicity and to identify potential drug targets. This led to the development of more sophisticated algorithms and the creation of large databases of drug information. The early 2000s seconds saw the emergence of deep learning a subfield of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks to analyze large datasets. Deep learning has since become an important tool in pharmacology, enabling researchers to analyze large amounts of drug data quickly and accurately. Recent years have seen a surge in the use of AI in pharmacology, with many pharmaceutical companies investing heavily in AI research and development. Today, AI is being used to identify new drug targets, design new molecules, optimize clinical trial designs, and develop personalized medicine. In conclusion, the development of AI in pharmacology has been a long and complex process. The use of AI in pharmacology has come a long way since the early simulations of drug actions in the 1970s. With the development of machine learning, and deep learning techniques. AI is now being used to revolutionize drug discovery and development and to improve patient outcomes. Chapter 4 Machine Learning in Pharmacology Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that involves the use of algorithms and statistical models to enable computer systems to learn from data and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. In pharmacology, machine learning is being used to predict drug properties, identify new drug targets, and optimize drug design. One of the key benefits of machine learning in pharmacology is its ability to analyze large amounts of data quickly and accurately. This has led to the creation of large databases of drug information that can be used to train machine learning algorithms. These algorithms can then be used to identify new drug targets or predict the properties of new drug candidates. Machine learning algorithms can be categorized into two types, supervised and unsupervised learning. Supervised learning involves training a machine learning model on a labeled dataset where the desired output is known. The model can then be used to predict the output for new data. In pharmacology, supervised learning is often used to predict drug toxicity or efficacy. Unsupervised learning, on the other hand, involves training a model on an unlabeled dataset where the desired output is unknown. The model must then identify patterns or relationships in the data without any guidance. In pharmacology, unsupervised learning is often used to identify clusters of compounds with similar properties. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that involves the use of artificial neural networks to analyze large datasets. Deep learning has proven to be highly effective in pharmacology, enabling researchers to predict drug toxicity, identify new drug targets, and optimize drug design. Convolutional neural networks, in particular, have been used to analyze molecular structures and predict drug properties. In conclusion, machine learning has become an important tool in pharmacology, enabling researchers to analyze large amounts of data quickly and accurately. Supervised and unsupervised learning techniques can be used to predict drug properties and identify new drug targets, while deep learning techniques such as CNNs, have been used to analyze molecular structures and optimize drug design.
as the field of pharmacology continues to evolve, machine learning will likely play an increasingly important role in drug discovery and development. Chapter 5 Definition of Machine Learning Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that involves the development of algorithms that enable machines to learn from and make predictions or decisions based on data. The main goal of machine learning is to enable machines to learn and improve their performance on a task without being explicitly programmed. This is achieved by providing machines with large amounts of data and allowing them to analyze the data to identify patterns, relationships, and rules. Machine learning can be broadly classified into three categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, machines are trained on labeled data, where the inputs and their corresponding outputs are provided. The goal of the machine is to learn a mapping function between the inputs and outputs so that it can predict the output for new inputs. In unsupervised learning, machines are trained on unlabeled data, where the goal is to identify patterns or relationships in the data without any specific goal or output in mind. In reinforcement learning, machines learn through trial and error by interacting with an environment and receiving feedback in the form of rewards or punishments. In pharmacology, machine learning has the potential to transform drug discovery, drug development, and personalized medicine by analyzing large amounts of data, such as genomics, protomics, metabolomics, and clinical data. Machine learning algorithms can identify novel drug targets, predict drug efficacy and toxicity, and personalize treatment plans based on patient characteristics. Machine learning has the potential to accelerate the drug discovery process, reduce the costs of drug development, and improve patient outcomes. Chapter 6 Types of Machine Learning Techniques Machine learning techniques can be broadly classified into three categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In pharmacology, each of these techniques can be applied to various tasks, such as drug discovery, toxicity prediction, and personalized medicine. 1. Supervised learning. This type of machine learning is used when the model is trained on labeled data, meaning the data has been labeled with the correct output. Supervised learning is commonly used in pharmacology for tasks such as predicting drug efficacy, identifying drug-drug interactions, and predicting adverse drug reactions. The model is trained on a dataset of known drug efficacy or toxicity and then applied to new, unseen data to make predictions. Some common supervised learning algorithms used in pharmacology include decision trees, random forests, and support vector machines. Two, unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is used when the data is unlabeled and the model must find patterns or structure in the data without being given any guidance. In pharmacology, unsupervised learning is commonly used for tasks such as clustering similar drugs together, identifying novel drug targets, and discovering new drug classes. Clustering algorithms such as k-means and hierarchical clustering, are commonly used in unsupervised learning. 3. Reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to take actions in an environment in order to maximize a reward. In pharmacology, reinforcement learning can be used to optimize drug dosages for individual patients or to find the best treatment protocol for a particular disease. The agent learns by trial, and error and the reward signal is typically based on the outcome of the action taken. Reinforcement learning algorithms such as Q-learning and policy gradient methods are commonly used in pharmacology. Each of these machine learning techniques can be applied to a variety of tasks in pharmacology and researchers continue to explore new ways to use machine learning to improve drug discovery and personalized medicine. Chapter 7 Applications of Machine Learning in Pharmacology Machine learning has numerous applications in pharmacology from drug discovery and development to personalized medicine. In this chapter, we will explore some of the key applications of machine learning in pharmacology. Drug discovery and development. One, one of the most promising applications of machine learning in pharmacology is drug discovery 
and development. Machine learning algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data and identify patterns that may not be easily detectable by humans. By analyzing large data sets of chemical compounds, machine learning can help identify new drug candidates and predict their efficacy and safety. Pharmacokinetics and Pharmacodynamics Two, machine learning algorithms can be used to model and predict the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties of drugs. By analyzing data on drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion and their effects on the body, machine learning can help optimize drug dosing and reduce the risk of adverse reactions. Personalized Medicine Three, machine learning can also be used to develop personalized medicine approaches by analyzing patient data, including genomics, protomics, and clinical parameters. Machine learning algorithms can identify patient-specific factors that may affect drug response. This information can be used to tailor drug dosing and treatment plans to individual patients, improving efficacy and reducing the risk of adverse events. Drug safety and adverse event detection. So, machine learning can also be used to monitor drug safety and detect adverse events by analyzing data from electronic health records, clinical trials, and other sources. Machine learning algorithms can identify potential safety issues and predict the likelihood of adverse events. This information can help healthcare providers and regulatory agencies make informed decisions about drug safety and efficacy. Predictive modeling. Five, machine learning can also be used to develop predictive models for a variety of pharmacological applications. For example, machine learning can be used to predict drug-drug interactions, drug-target interactions, and drug toxicity. These models can help improve drug safety and efficacy and reduce the risk of adverse events. In conclusion, machine learning has enormous potential in pharmacology from drug discovery and development to personalized medicine and drug safety. As machine learning algorithms become more advanced and datasets become larger and more diverse, we can expect to see even more applications of this technology in pharmacology in the future. Chapter 8 Deep Learning in Pharmacology sub line Harnessing the Power of Artificial Neural Networks for Drug Discovery and Development Introduction Artificial Intelligence has become an indispensable tool in modern drug discovery and development. Among the many AI techniques that are being employed in the field, deep learning has emerged as one of the most powerful and promising approaches. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves the use of artificial neural networks to analyze and interpret complex data. In pharmacology, deep learning has the potential to revolutionize drug discovery and development by enabling the rapid and accurate identification of new drug candidates. Types of Artificial Neural Networks Artificial Neural Networks are the building blocks of deep learning algorithms. There are several types of artificial neural networks that are used in pharmacology, including convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks, and deep belief networks. Each of these networks is designed to analyze and interpret different types of data, such as images, sequences, and structured data. Applications of deep learning in pharmacology Deep learning is being used in a wide range of applications in pharmacology, including drug discovery, drug design, toxicity prediction, and personalized medicine. In drug discovery, deep learning algorithms can analyze large datasets of chemical compounds and predict which compounds are most likely to be effective drug candidates. Deep learning can also be used to design new drugs by generating virtual compounds that are optimized for specific biological targets. In toxicity prediction, deep learning algorithms can analyze the molecular structures of compounds and predict which compounds are likely to be toxic. In personalized medicine, deep learning algorithms can analyze patient data and predict which treatments are most likely to be effective for individual patients. Challenges and Limitations Despite the many benefits of deep learning in pharmacology, there are also several challenges and limitations that must be addressed. One of the biggest challenges is the need for large amounts of high-quality data to train deep learning algorithms. Another challenge is the complexity of the algorithms themselves, which can make them difficult to interpret 
and validate. Additionally, there are ethical and regulatory considerations that must be taken into account when using deep learning in pharmacology. Conclusion Deep learning has the potential to revolutionize drug discovery and development by enabling the rapid and accurate identification of new drug candidates. Although there are many challenges, and limitations associated with the use of deep learning in pharmacology, the benefits of this approach are clear. As the field of AI continues to evolve, it is likely that deep learning will play an increasingly important role in the future of pharmacology. Chapter 9 Introduction to Deep Learning in Pharmacology Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that utilizes artificial neural networks to model and solve complex problems. It has become an increasingly popular tool for analyzing large amounts of data in many fields, including pharmacology. Deep learning algorithms are capable of processing vast amounts of data to extract patterns and features that can be used to make predictions and decisions. The use of deep learning in pharmacology has great potential to improve drug discovery and development, drug safety monitoring, and personalized medicine. Deep learning algorithms can analyze large datasets, such as genetic and molecular data, and predict drug efficacy and toxicity, identify new drug targets, and optimize drug dosages. Additionally, deep learning can help to identify patient subgroups and personalize treatment regimens. In this chapter, we will provide an overview of deep learning in pharmacology, including its history, basic concepts, and applications. We will also discuss the advantages and limitations of deep learning in pharmacology, as well as the future directions of this rapidly evolving field. Chapter 10 Types of Deep Learning Techniques Deep learning utilizes various neural network architectures and training algorithms to process and analyze complex data. The choice of architecture and algorithm depends on the nature of the data and the specific problem being addressed. In this chapter, we will discuss some of the most common types of deep learning techniques used in pharmacology. Convolutional Neural Networks 1. CNNs are a type of neural network designed for image recognition and processing. They consist of multiple layers of filters that extract features from input images such as molecular structures or cell images. CNNs have been used to predict drug interactions, toxicity, and drug target interactions. Recurrent Neural Networks 2. RNNs are designed to process sequential data, such as time series or genomic data. They have a memory component that allows them to remember past information and make predictions based on that information. RNNs have been used in pharmacology to predict drug efficacy, toxicity, and adverse effects. Autoencoders 3. Autoencoders are neural networks that are designed to learn the underlying representation of data by compressing it into a lower dimensional space. They can be used to reconstruct images or identify patterns in data. Autoencoders have been used to identify drug targets and predict drug efficacy. Generative Adversarial Networks For GANs are a type of neural network that consists of two parts, a generator that creates new data and a discriminator that tries to distinguish between real and generated data. GANs have been used in pharmacology to generate new molecules that can potentially be used as drugs. Long short-term memory networks. 5. LSTMs are a type of RNN that are designed to handle long-term dependencies in sequential data. They are commonly used in natural language processing and have been applied to drug discovery by predicting the binding affinity of drug molecules to target proteins. In summary, deep learning offers a range of techniques that can be applied to various types of pharmacological data. By selecting the appropriate architecture and algorithm, deep learning can help to unlock insights and make predictions that were previously impossible. Chapter 11 Applications of Deep Learning in Pharmacology Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that is used to model complex patterns in large data sets. It is an artificial neural network with multiple layers of interconnected nodes. The layers of the neural network learn to extract relevant features from the input data, which are then used to make predictions or decisions. Deep learning has been increasingly applied in the field of pharmacology for various purposes, including drug discovery, drug repurposing, and personalized medicine. 
in this chapter we will discuss the various applications of deep learning in pharmacology drug discovery one deep learning has been used in drug discovery to predict the efficacy of new drug candidates it can help in the identification of new drug targets and the design of novel drugs that can target those targets deep learning models can be trained on large data sets of chemical structures and biological data to identify patterns that are indicative of drug efficacy this information can then be used to design new drug molecules that have a higher likelihood of success in clinical trials drug repurposing to drug repurposing is the process of finding new uses for existing drugs deep learning can be used to predict the effectiveness of existing drugs for new indications by training models on large data sets of biological and chemical information Deep learning algorithms can identify drugs that have the potential to be repurposed for new therapeutic applications. This approach can significantly reduce the time and cost of drug development. Personalized medicine. Three. Deep learning can also be used to predict patient responses to different drugs. By analyzing large data sets of patient data, including genomic data, medical history, and treatment outcomes, deep learning models can identify patterns that can be used to predict which drugs are most likely to be effective for specific patients. This approach can lead to more personalized treatment options, which can improve patient outcomes and reduce healthcare costs. Adverse event prediction. So deep learning can also be used to predict adverse events associated with drug treatments by analyzing large data sets of patient data deep learning models can identify patterns that are indicative of drug toxicity or side effects this information can be used to develop predictive models that can alert healthcare providers to potential adverse events allowing for early intervention and improve patient outcomes conclusion In conclusion, deep learning has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology. Its ability to analyze large data sets of biological and chemical data can significantly speed up the drug development process, improve patient outcomes, and reduce healthcare costs. As the field of deep learning continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more innovative applications in pharmacology and other fields. Chapter 12 Computer vision in pharmacology. Introduction. Computer vision is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on developing algorithms and techniques to enable machines to interpret and understand visual data. In pharmacology, computer vision techniques are increasingly being used to analyze complex images of cells, tissues, and organs, as well as for drug discovery and development. applications of computer vision in pharmacology one cell and tissue imaging computer vision techniques such as segmentation feature extraction and object recognition are used to analyze images of cells and tissues this helps in understanding the structural and functional changes in cells caused by disease or drug treatments so drug discovery and development computer vision techniques are used in virtual screening molecular docking and ligand based drug design to identify potential drug candidates they are also used in predicting drug toxicity and pharmacokinetics three quality control and drug formulation computer vision is used to inspect the quality of drug products identify impurities and ensure that the drug formulation is consistent for medical imaging computer vision is used to analyze medical images such as x-rays ct scans and mri to aid in diagnosis and treatment planning challenges and future directions despite the advances in computer vision there are still challenges in applying it to pharmacology One of the challenges is the lack of annotated data sets for training the algorithms. Another challenge is the need for interpretability and transparency of the algorithms. Future directions for computer vision in pharmacology include the development of more accurate and efficient algorithms, the use of deep learning models, and the integration of computer vision with other AI techniques such as natural language processing. Conclusion Computer vision is a rapidly evolving field of AI that has many applications in pharmacology. It has the potential to transform drug discovery, development, and delivery as well as improve patient outcomes by enabling better diagnosis 
and treatment. As technology continues to advance, it is important to address the challenges and ensure that it is used ethically and responsibly. Chapter 13 Definition of Computer Vision in Pharmacology Computer vision is a field of artificial intelligence that aims to enable machines to interpret and understand visual information from the world around us in a way similar to how humans do it. It involves the development and use of algorithms and techniques that allow computers to analyze and extract useful information from digital images and videos. In pharmacology, computer vision is increasingly being used to analyze various types of visual data, including microscopic images of cells and tissues, medical imaging data such as X-rays and MRI scans, and even video data of animal behavior and drug discovery studies. Computer vision techniques can be used to automatically detect and classify objects, patterns, and features in these visual data as well as to quantify and measure various properties and parameters of interest, such as cell morphology, tissue structure, and drug interactions with biological targets. These capabilities can greatly accelerate and improve the efficiency and accuracy of various pharmacological experiments and analyzes, as well as provide new insights and discoveries that would be difficult or impossible to obtain using traditional manual methods. Some of the key techniques used in computer vision in pharmacology include image segmentation, object detection and recognition, feature extraction and representation, machine learning and deep learning, and 3D image analysis. These techniques are constantly evolving and improving driven by advances in hardware, software, and data availability as well as by the growing demand and interest in the field. Overall, computer vision has the potential to revolutionize various aspects of pharmacology, from drug discovery and development to clinical diagnosis and treatment monitoring by providing new and powerful tools for analyzing and understanding complex visual data. Chapter 14 Applications of Computer Vision in Pharmacology Computer vision is a rapidly growing field of artificial intelligence that deals with enabling machines to interpret, process, and analyze images and videos like humans. In pharmacology, computer vision has found numerous applications in drug discovery, drug design, and drug delivery. With the aid of computer vision, researchers can analyze large datasets of images and videos, extract relevant information, and generate insights that can be used to develop new drugs, predict drug efficacy, and monitor drug delivery. In this chapter, we will explore the applications of computer vision in pharmacology in detail. Drug discovery One of the most important applications of computer vision in pharmacology is drug discovery. Drug discovery involves identifying drug targets and developing compounds that interact with these targets. Traditionally, this process has been time-consuming and expensive. With the help of computer vision, researchers can analyze large datasets of images and videos of cells, tissues, and organisms to identify potential drug targets. Computer vision algorithms can also be used to predict the efficacy of drug candidates and identify compounds that are likely to have fewer side effects. Drug design Once potential drug targets have been identified, the next step is to design drug compounds that interact with these targets. Computer vision can aid in the drug design process by allowing researchers to visualize and analyze the interactions between drugs and their targets. Computer vision can also be used to predict the binding affinity of drug candidates and identify compounds that are likely to have high binding affinity and low toxicity. Drug delivery Drug delivery is an important aspect of pharmacology that involves getting drugs to their target sites in the body. Computer vision can be used to optimize drug delivery by monitoring the distribution and uptake of drugs in cells, tissues, and organs. By analyzing images and videos of drug uptake, Researchers can identify the factors that affect drug delivery and develop strategies to improve it. Medical imaging Medical imaging is an important tool in pharmacology 
that allows researchers to visualize the effects of drugs on cells, tissues, and organs. Computer vision algorithms can be used to analyze medical images and extract relevant information that can be used to monitor the progression of diseases and evaluate the efficacy of drugs. Computer vision can also aid in the diagnosis of diseases by identifying patterns and anomalies in medical images. Conclusion Computer vision is a powerful tool that has the potential to revolutionize pharmacology by allowing researchers to analyze large datasets of images and videos. Computer vision can aid in drug discovery, drug design, drug delivery, and medical imaging. With the continued development of computer vision technology and the increasing availability of large datasets of medical images and videos, the applications of computer vision in pharmacology are only set to increase in the future. Chapter 50 Image Analysis and Interpretation in Pharmacology Using Computer Vision Introduction Pharmacology relies heavily on the identification and analysis of various types of images such as microscopic images, radiology images, and more. Image analysis and interpretation play a crucial role in drug discovery, diagnosis, and treatment monitoring. With the advent of computer vision, image analysis and interpretation have become more efficient and effective. In this chapter, we will discuss how computer vision techniques can be used to analyze and interpret images in pharmacology. Types of images in pharmacology Pharmacology involves a wide range of images, including histological images, radiology images, and microscopic images. Histological images involve the analysis of tissues and cells. Radiology images include X-rays, CT scans, MRI scans, and more, while microscopic images involve the analysis of cells and tissues using a microscope. Applications of computer vision in image analysis Computer vision techniques such as image segmentation, feature extraction, and classification can be used for the analysis and interpretation of various types of images in pharmacology. Image segmentation is used to identify and extract objects of interest from images. Feature extraction involves extracting relevant features from the segmented images and classification is used to classify the objects based on their features. Deep learning in image analysis. Deep learning techniques such as convolutional neural networks have been widely used in image analysis and interpretation. CNNs can be trained to perform various tasks such as classification, object detection, and segmentation, and they have shown promising results in the analysis of medical images in pharmacology. Applications of computer vision in pharmacology Computer vision techniques can be used in pharmacology for various tasks such as drug discovery, diagnosis, and treatment monitoring. For instance, computer vision techniques can be used to analyze and classify cells in histological images to identify abnormal cells. In radiology, computer vision can be used to detect tumors and monitor the progression of the disease. In drug discovery, computer vision can be used to analyze the structure of molecules and predict their properties. Conclusion. In conclusion, computer vision techniques have shown great promise in the analysis and interpretation of various types of images in pharmacology. With the increasing amount of data generated in pharmacology, computer vision techniques can be used to extract meaningful insights from this data. The future of pharmacology looks bright with the continued development of computer vision techniques and their applications in the field. Chapter 16 Natural Language Processing in Pharmacology Introduction Natural language processing is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the interaction between computers and human languages. The primary objective of NLP is to develop algorithms that can understand, interpret, and generate human language. In pharmacology, NLP techniques are increasingly being used for various applications, including drug discovery, adverse drug reaction detection, and pharmacovigilance. In this chapter, we will discuss the various applications of NLP in pharmacology. Overview of NLP NLP involves the use of statistical 
and machine learning techniques to analyze and understand human language. The process involves breaking down the language into smaller parts and analyzing them to identify patterns and relationships. NLP can be used to perform a range of tasks such as sentiment analysis, text classification, name entity recognition, and machine translation. Applications of NLP in Pharmacology 1. Drug discovery NLP techniques can be used to analyze large amounts of scientific literature to identify potential drug targets and drug candidates. Researchers can use NLP algorithms to extract relevant information from text data and generate new hypotheses for drug discovery. To adverse drug reaction detection, NLP techniques can be used to identify adverse drug reactions from unstructured text data such as electronic health records and social media posts. By analyzing patient reported symptoms and medication history, NLP algorithms can detect potential ADRs, which can help in early detection and prevention of adverse events. 3. Pharmacovigilance NLP can be used to analyze large volumes of data from various sources, such as EHRs, clinical trials, and social media to monitor the safety and efficacy of drugs. NLP algorithms can identify potential safety concerns and adverse events, which can help in early intervention and risk management. For clinical decision support, NLP techniques can be used to extract relevant information from clinical notes and other unstructured data sources to support clinical decision making. By analyzing patient data and medical history, NLP algorithms can generate personalized treatment recommendations and alerts for potential drug interactions. Challenges of NLP in Pharmacology Despite the potential benefits of NLP in pharmacology, there are several challenges that need to be addressed. One of the major challenges is the lack of standardization in text data sources which can lead to inconsistencies and inaccuracies in the analysis. Another challenge is the need for high-quality annotated data to train NLP algorithms, which can be time-consuming and expensive to obtain. Conclusion NLP techniques have the potential to transform the field of pharmacology by enabling researchers and clinicians to analyze large amounts of unstructured data and extract meaningful insights. By using NLP algorithms to analyze text data, researchers can identify potential drug targets and drug candidates, detect adverse drug reactions, monitor drug safety, and support clinical decision making. However, there are several challenges that need to be addressed such as the lack of standardization in text data sources and the need for high-quality annotated data. With continued research and development, NLP has the potential to become a powerful tool in the field of pharmacology. Chapter 17, Definition of Natural Language Processing Natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence that deals with the interaction between computers and human languages. NLP enables computers to read, interpret, and understand human language by analyzing the meaning of words and phrases and how they relate to each other. NLP techniques are used in various applications, including language translation, sentiment analysis, and speech recognition. In the field of pharmacology, NLP can be used to analyze and interpret text-based data such as electronic health records, clinical trial data, and scientific literature. By extracting and analyzing relevant information from these sources, NLP can aid in drug discovery, drug safety monitoring, and personalized medicine. Chapter 18 Applications of Natural Language Processing in Pharmacology Natural language processing is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the interaction between computers and humans in natural language. NLP has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology, particularly in drug discovery, drug repurposing, and drug safety. Here are some of the applications of NLP in pharmacology. One, Literature mining NLP can be used to mine scientific literature and extract relevant information related to drug targets, disease mechanisms, drug interactions, and adverse drug events. The extracted data can be used to build knowledge graphs that provide a holistic view of the relationships between drugs, targets, diseases, and biological pathways. Two, drug repurposing NLP can be used to identify potential drug candidates for repurposing. 
by analyzing scientific literature and clinical trial data, NLP can identify drugs that have the potential to be used for new indications. Three, drug safety. NLP can be used to monitor adverse drug events by analyzing electronic health records, social media, and other sources of unstructured data. NLP can identify the type and severity of a DEs and provide early warnings of potential safety issues. For clinical trial recruitment, NLP can be used to identify potential candidates for clinical trials by analyzing electronic health records and patient data. By identifying patients with specific characteristics, NLP can help to speed up the recruitment process and reduce the costs of clinical trials. Five, drug labeling. NLP can be used to analyze drug labeling information and identify potential drug interactions and contraindications. This information can help healthcare providers to make more informed decisions about drug therapy. Six, pharmacovigilance. NLP can be used to monitor the safety and efficacy of drugs by analyzing real-world data from electronic health records, social media, and other sources. This can help to identify potential safety issues and improve patient outcomes. In conclusion, NLP has the potential to transform pharmacology by enabling more efficient drug discovery, drug repurposing, and drug safety monitoring. As NLP technology continues to advance, it is likely that it will become an essential tool in the pharmaceutical industry. Chapter 19, Text Mining and Data Extraction in Pharmacology. Introduction. Text mining and data extraction are techniques that involve the use of natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to analyze and extract information from large volumes of unstructured text data. In pharmacology, text mining and data extraction have become increasingly important in drug discovery, drug safety, and pharmacovigilance. Techniques for text mining and data extraction There are several techniques used for text mining and data extraction in pharmacology including named entity recognition, relation extraction, topic modeling, and sentiment analysis. Named entity recognition. One, named entity recognition is a technique used to identify and extract entities such as drugs, genes, and proteins from text data. In pharmacology, NER can be used to extract drug names, dosage, administration routes, and adverse reactions from electronic health records, scientific literature, and social media. Relation extraction. So, relation extraction involves identifying and extracting the relationships between different entities in text data. In pharmacology, relation extraction can be used to identify drug-drug interactions, drug-gene interactions, and drug-disease associations. Topic modeling. Three, topic modeling is a technique used to identify and extract the underlying themes or topics in large volumes of text data. In pharmacology, topic modeling can be used to analyze scientific literature and identify the most relevant topics or areas of research. Sentiment analysis. Four, sentiment analysis is a technique used to identify and extract the emotions, opinions, and attitudes expressed in text data. In pharmacology, sentiment analysis can be used to analyze social media and patient forums to identify the sentiment towards drugs and their side effects. Applications of text mining and data extraction in pharmacology. Text mining and data extraction have several applications in pharmacology, including drug discovery, pharmacovigilance, and drug safety. Drug discovery, one, text mining and data extraction can be used to analyze scientific literature and identify potential drug targets, drug candidates, and biomarkers. It can also be used to identify novel indications for existing drugs and repurposing drugs for new therapeutic uses. Pharmacovigilance. Two, text mining and data extraction can be used to monitor and analyze adverse drug reactions and drug-drug interactions. It can also be used to identify and track emerging drug safety issues and provide early warning signals. 
drug safety. Three, text mining and data extraction can be used to analyze electronic health records and identify potential drug safety issues. It can also be used to monitor and analyze social media and patient forums to identify potential adverse drug reactions and drug interactions. Conclusion Text mining and data extraction have become increasingly important in pharmacology, providing valuable insights into drug discovery, pharmacovigilance, and drug safety. As the volume of text data continues to grow, the use of these techniques is expected to become even more widespread in the future. Chapter 20 Big Data Analytics in Pharmacology Introduction in recent years, the amount of data generated in the field of pharmacology has increased significantly due to the rise of digitalization and the emergence of new technologies. These data include clinical trial data, electronic health records, genomics data, and other types of information. Big data analytics techniques have become increasingly important in the field of pharmacology to extract meaningful insights and improve drug discovery and development processes. Overview. This chapter will provide an overview of big data analytics techniques used in pharmacology, including data mining, machine learning, and natural language processing. We will also discuss the applications of big data analytics in pharmacology, such as drug discovery, clinical trial design, and personalized medicine. Finally, we will highlight the challenges and future directions for big data analytics in pharmacology. Data mining. Data mining is a process of discovering patterns and insights from large data sets. In pharmacology, data mining techniques are used to extract valuable information from clinical trial data, electronic health records, and other sources. Data mining can help to identify potential drug targets, predict drug toxicity, and identify patient subgroups that may benefit from a particular drug. Machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the use of algorithms and statistical models to enable computers to learn from data. In pharmacology, machine learning techniques are used to analyze large data sets and identify patterns that may be missed by traditional statistical methods. Machine learning can help to predict drug efficacy, identify biomarkers for disease, and design clinical trials more efficiently. Natural language processing. Natural language processing is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on the interaction between computers and human languages. In pharmacology, natural language processing techniques are used to analyze unstructured text data such as electronic health records and medical literature. Natural language processing can help to identify adverse drug events, extract drug disease associations, and improve clinical decision making. Applications Big data analytics has numerous applications in pharmacology, including drug discovery, clinical trial design, and personalized medicine. In drug discovery, big data analytics can help to identify new drug targets, predict drug efficacy, and optimize drug design. In clinical trial design, big data analytics can help to identify patient subgroups that may benefit from a particular drug design more efficient clinical trials, and monitor patient safety. In personalized medicine, big data analytics can help to identify the optimal drug and dosage for individual patients based on their genetic profile and other clinical characteristics. Challenges and future directions. Despite the potential benefits of big data analytics in pharmacology, there are also several challenges that need to be addressed. These include data quality and standardization, data privacy and security, and regulatory issues. In the future, big data analytics will continue to play an increasingly important role in pharmacology as more data becomes available and new technologies emerge. However, it will be important to address these challenges and develop robust analytical methods to ensure the effective and ethical use of big data in pharmacology. Conclusion Big data analytics has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology by enabling more efficient drug discovery and development processes, improving clinical trial design, and facilitating personalized medicine. However, there are also challenges that need to be addressed, including data quality and standardization, data privacy, 
and security and regulatory issues to fully realize the potential of big data analytics in pharmacology. It will be necessary to address these challenges and develop robust analytical methods that can provide meaningful insights from large data sets. Chapter 21 Definition of Big Data Analytics in Pharmacology In recent years, the field of pharmacology has undergone a tremendous amount of transformation and big data analytics is playing a significant role in driving these changes. Big data analytics involves the use of advanced technologies to process, store and analyze vast amounts of data. In pharmacology, big data analytics is used to collect and analyze large volumes of data from various sources, including clinical trials, electronic health records, drug development, and social media. The primary goal of big data analytics is to identify patterns, trends, and insights that can be used to improve drug development, patient outcomes, and overall healthcare delivery. Pharmacology deals with the study of drugs and their effects on the human body. It involves the discovery, development, evaluation, and clinical use of medications. The traditional methods of drug development and evaluation involve a lengthy and expensive process that requires a lot of time and resources. However, with the advent of big data analytics, the drug development process has become more efficient and cost effective. Big data analytics involves the use of powerful algorithms and machine learning techniques to analyze large volumes of data. It enables researchers to identify patterns and trends that are not immediately apparent through traditional statistical methods. With big data analytics, pharmacologists can quickly identify potential drug targets, predict drug efficacy and toxicity, and identify patient populations that are most likely to benefit from specific medications. In pharmacology, big data analytics is used to analyze data from clinical trials, electronic health records, and social media. Electronic health records contain a wealth of data on patient demographics, medical history, medication use, and treatment outcomes. By analyzing this data, pharmacologists can identify patterns and trends that can be used to improve patient outcomes. Social media is another rich source of data that can be used to understand patient perspectives on medication use and side effects. In conclusion, Big Data Analytics has revolutionized the field of pharmacology by providing new insights into drug development patient outcomes, and overall healthcare delivery. The use of advanced technologies such as machine learning and natural language processing has made it possible to analyze large volumes of data quickly and accurately. As the field of pharmacology continues to evolve, big data analytics is likely to play an increasingly important role in driving these changes. Chapter 22, Applications of Big Data Analytics in Pharmacology. Big data analytics refers to the process of collecting, processing and analyzing large volumes of data to extract useful insights and knowledge. In the field of pharmacology, big data analytics has a wide range of applications that have the potential to revolutionize drug discovery, development and delivery. Here are some of the key applications of big data analytics in pharmacology. One, Drug discovery, one of the most promising applications of big data analytics in pharmacology is in the discovery of new drugs. By analyzing large datasets containing information about molecular structures, genetic information, and disease pathways, researchers can identify new drug targets and potential drug candidates. Machine learning algorithms can also be used to analyze large datasets of chemical compounds to identify promising candidates for further study. To clinical trials, big data analytics can also be used to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of clinical trials. By analyzing large datasets containing information about patient characteristics, disease progression, and treatment outcomes, researchers can identify subgroups of patients who are most likely to respond to a particular treatment. This can help to reduce the size and duration of clinical trials, as well as improve the accuracy of trial results. 3. Personalized Medicine Another important application of big data analytics in pharmacology is in the development of personalized medicine. 
by analyzing large data sets containing information about genetic profiles, medical histories, and treatment outcomes. Researchers can identify personalized treatment options that are tailored to the unique needs of individual patients. This can help to improve treatment outcomes and reduce the risk of adverse events. For drug safety, big data analytics can also be used to monitor the safety of drugs in real time. By analyzing large datasets containing information about adverse drug reactions, drug interactions, and other safety-related events, researchers can identify potential safety concerns early on and take appropriate action to mitigate the risks. Five. Drug delivery. Finally, big data analytics can also be used to improve the delivery of drugs to patients. By analyzing large data sets containing information about patient characteristics, treatment histories, and medication adherence, researchers can identify the most effective delivery methods and dosages for individual patients. This can help to improve treatment outcomes and reduce the risk of adverse events. In conclusion, Big data analytics has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology by enabling researchers to analyze large volumes of data to extract useful insights and knowledge. From drug discovery to drug delivery, big data analytics is being used to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of all aspects of drug development and delivery. Chapter 23, Data Mining and Predictive Analytics in Pharmacology. Data mining and predictive analytics are two essential aspects of big data analytics in pharmacology. In this chapter, we will discuss the concepts of data mining and predictive analytics and their applications in pharmacology. Data mining is the process of discovering patterns, correlations, and anomalies in large datasets using mathematical algorithms statistical models, and machine learning techniques. It involves the extraction and analysis of data from multiple sources, including electronic health records, clinical trials, drug databases, and social media platforms. Predictive analytics, on the other hand, is the process of using statistical models and machine learning algorithms to analyze historical data and make predictions about future events. It involves the use of data, statistical algorithms, and machine learning techniques to identify the likelihood of future outcomes based on historical data. Applications of data mining and predictive analytics in pharmacology. One. Drug discovery, data mining, and predictive analytics can be used to identify potential drug targets and develop new drugs. They can also be used to predict the efficacy and safety of existing drugs and identify potential side effects. Two, pharmacovigilance. Data mining and predictive analytics can be used to monitor adverse drug reactions and identify potential safety concerns associated with drugs. They can also be used to predict the likelihood of adverse events and develop strategies to mitigate them. Three, clinical trials. Data mining and predictive analytics can be used to identify patient populations that are most likely to benefit from a particular treatment and optimize clinical trial designs. They can also be used to identify potential confounding variables and develop statistical models to account for them. For personalized medicine, data mining and predictive analytics can be used to identify genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors that influence drug efficacy and toxicity. They can also be used to develop personalized treatment plans based on individual patient characteristics. 5. Health outcomes. Data mining and predictive analytics can be used to predict health outcomes and identify risk factors for chronic diseases. They can also be used to develop predictive models to identify patients who are at high risk of developing certain conditions. Conclusion. Data mining and predictive analytics are powerful tools that can be used to optimize drug discovery, pharmacovigilance, clinical trials, personalized medicine, and health outcomes in pharmacology. As the field of pharmacology continues to evolve, these tools will play an increasingly important role in advancing our understanding of drug efficacy and safety and developing personalized treatment plans for patients. Chapter 24, Future Directions of AI in Pharmacology. Artificial intelligence has shown great potential to revolutionize pharmacology research 
and drug discovery. With the increasing availability of data improved algorithms and better computing power, AI based approaches have become an essential tool for pharmaceutical companies, academic researchers and clinicians. In this chapter, we will explore some of the future directions of AI in pharmacology, including emerging technologies, challenges and opportunities. 1. Personalized Medicine the use of AI in pharmacology research can pave the way for personalized medicine. AI algorithms can analyze individual patient data, including genetics, medical history, and lifestyle factors to provide tailored treatment plans. This approach can help clinicians to choose the most effective treatments and minimize the risks of side effects. Two, drug discovery, AI is already being used to accelerate the drug discovery process. Deep learning models can analyze vast amounts of data, including chemical structures, biological pathways, and gene expression to identify potential drug candidates. AI-based drug discovery can save time and reduce costs in the preclinical stage, increasing the chances of success in clinical trials. Three, drug repurposing, another promising application of AI in pharmacology is drug repurposing. By analyzing vast amounts of data, including clinical trial data, medical records, and scientific literature, AI algorithms can identify new uses for existing drugs. This approach can reduce the time and costs associated with drug development and help to bring new treatments to market faster. For precision medicine, AI can also facilitate precision medicine which involves tailoring treatment plans to individual patients based on their genetic makeup, lifestyle factors, and other personal characteristics. By analyzing large datasets, AI algorithms can identify patterns and correlations that could help clinicians make more informed treatment decisions. 5. Regulatory Compliance With the increasing use of AI in pharmacology research, it is important to ensure regulatory compliance. The FDA has already released guidelines for the use of AI in medical devices and similar regulations are likely to be developed for AI-based drug development and clinical decision making. Ensuring compliance with these regulations will be crucial for the success and widespread adoption of AI in pharmacology. 6. Ethical considerations As with any technology, AI in pharmacology raises ethical considerations. One of the main concerns is data privacy as patient data is sensitive and must be protected. Other ethical considerations include the potential for bias in AI algorithms and the need to ensure that AI-based decision-making is transparent and accountable. 7. Collaboration Finally, collaboration will be essential for the success of AI in pharmacology. Researchers, clinicians, and industry professionals must work together to develop and implement AI-based approaches that can improve patient outcomes and drive innovation in the field. In conclusion, AI has enormous potential to transform pharmacology research and drug discovery. From personalized medicine to drug repurposing and precision medicine, AI-based approaches can help to accelerate the development of new treatments and improve patient outcomes. However, there are also challenges, including regulatory compliance and ethical considerations that must be addressed. Through collaboration and ongoing research, the future of AI in pharmacology looks bright. Chapter 25, Emerging Trends and Future Predictions As artificial intelligence continues to evolve and improve, the potential applications of AI in pharmacology are becoming more and more apparent. Here are some emerging trends and future predictions for AI in pharmacology. One, Personalized medicine. The use of AI in pharmacology can help in the development of personalized medicine, where drugs and treatment are tailored to individual patients. By analyzing patient data, AI algorithms can predict which treatment options will be most effective for specific patients. Two, drug discovery. AI can also play a significant role in drug discovery by accelerating the process of identifying potential drug candidates. Machine learning algorithms can be trained on large datasets of compounds and their associated properties to predict which ones are most likely to be effective against a particular disease. Three, 
Clinical trials. AI can also be used to optimize clinical trials by identifying the most promising patient populations and predicting the likelihood of success. AI algorithms can help in the selection of the most appropriate clinical trial design, resulting in more efficient and cost-effective trials. For medical imaging, AI has already shown significant promise in medical imaging particularly in identifying and diagnosing diseases such as cancer. In pharmacology, AI algorithms can help in the analysis and interpretation of imaging data, aiding in the development of new drugs and treatment options. 5. Natural language processing. The use of natural language processing in pharmacology is still in its early stages. However, as more data becomes available in the form of electronic health records and scientific publications, NLP can be used to extract valuable insights and improve the efficiency of drug development. 6. Explainable AI. As AI becomes more complex and is used in increasingly critical applications, the need for explainable AI is becoming more apparent. Explainable AI aims to make AI algorithms more transparent and understandable, enabling clinicians and researchers to better interpret and trust the results generated by these algorithms. Overall, AI has the potential to revolutionize pharmacology, improving the efficiency and effectiveness of drug development and treatment. However, significant challenges remain in the areas of data privacy, regulatory compliance, and ethical considerations. As these challenges are addressed, we can expect AI to become an even more critical tool in pharmacology, transforming the way we approach drug development and patient care. Chapter 26, Ethical Considerations in AI and Pharmacology. Introduction. As the use of artificial intelligence in pharmacology continues to grow, there is a growing need to consider the ethical implications of this technology. The development of AI and machine learning has the potential to revolutionize drug discovery, precision medicine, and patient care. However, there are also concerns about issues such as data privacy, transparency, and accountability. In this chapter, we will explore the ethical considerations surrounding AI and pharmacology. Data privacy. One of the most significant ethical issues with the use of AI in pharmacology is data privacy. AI algorithms require large amounts of data to train, and this data often includes sensitive information such as medical records and genetic data. There is a risk that this data could be compromised, leading to breaches of privacy and confidentiality. It is essential to ensure that data is collected, stored, and used in a way that is compliant with regulations and that patients' rights to privacy are protected. Transparency. Another ethical consideration in AI and pharmacology is transparency. AI algorithms can be complex and difficult to understand, which can make it challenging to determine how they are making decisions. This lack of transparency can be problematic when it comes to decision making in healthcare, as it can be difficult to determine how a particular decision was reached. It is essential to develop transparent AI systems that can be audited and understood by stakeholders. Accountability. As AI is increasingly integrated into the healthcare system, it is important to consider issues of accountability. In the event of a negative outcome, it can be difficult to determine who is responsible for the decision made by an AI system. It is crucial to establish clear lines of accountability for AI systems, ensuring that all stakeholders are aware of their responsibilities and that there are mechanisms in place for accountability and redress in case of harm caused by AI systems. Bias and fairness. AI algorithms are only as good as the data they are trained on, and there is a risk that biased data can lead to biased algorithms. This can lead to disparities in healthcare outcomes, particularly for underrepresented or marginalized groups. It is essential to ensure that AI systems are trained on diverse and representative datasets and that there are mechanisms in place to detect and address biases in AI systems. Conclusion As AI becomes more prevalent in pharmacology, it is essential to consider the ethical implications of this technology. Data privacy, transparency, accountability, bias, and fairness are all critical considerations in the development 
and deployment of AI systems in healthcare. It is essential to address these ethical issues proactively to ensure that the use of AI in pharmacology is both effective and ethical. Chapter 27 Challenges and Limitations While artificial intelligence in pharmacology holds immense promise, there are several challenges and limitations that must be addressed before it can reach its full potential. Some of these challenges and limitations include 1. Data quality AI models require large amounts of high quality data to learn from. However, the data available in pharmacology is often heterogeneous, incomplete, and of variable quality. This can limit the accuracy and usefulness of AI models. 2. Bias and fairness. AI models can amplify and perpetuate biases that exist in the data they are trained on. In pharmacology, this can result in disparities in healthcare outcomes and perpetuate health inequities. It is important to ensure that AI models are developed with fairness and equity in mind and that they are regularly audited for bias. 3. Regulatory hurdles. Regulatory frameworks for AI in pharmacology are still in their infancy and there is a lack of clear guidance on how to regulate and validate AI models. This can create barriers to the adoption of AI in pharmacology. For lack of interpretability, many AI models used in pharmacology, such as deep learning models, are complex and difficult to interpret. This can make it challenging for healthcare professionals to understand how the models arrived at their recommendations and can limit their trust in the technology. 5. Integration with existing systems. Implementing AI in pharmacology requires significant changes to existing systems and workflows. This can be costly and time-consuming, and there may be resistance from healthcare professionals who are accustomed to traditional methods. 6. Limited availability of expertise. Developing and implementing AI models in pharmacology requires expertise in both pharmacology and computer science. However, there is a shortage of professionals with this skill set which can limit the speed and scale of AI adoption in the field. Addressing these challenges and limitations will require a concerted effort from stakeholders in pharmacology, including researchers, healthcare professionals, regulatory bodies, and policymakers. By working together, it is possible to overcome these obstacles and realize the full potential of AI in pharmacology. Chapter 28 Case Studies in AI Applications in Pharmacology Introduction AI has revolutionized the field of pharmacology by enabling the analysis and interpretation of complex data sets, identification of novel drug targets, and development of personalized medicine. In this chapter, we will discuss some of the significant case studies where AI has been implemented in pharmacology and has shown promising results. Case Study 1 Drug discovery. AI has been used in drug discovery to identify novel drug targets, screen compound libraries, and optimize lead compounds. In a recent study, AI based deep learning models were used to predict the binding affinity of compounds to the target protein. The model was trained on a dataset of known ligand protein interactions and then used to predict the binding affinity of a set of compounds. The predictions were validated experimentally and the results showed that the model had high accuracy in predicting the binding affinity of the compounds. Case study 2. Personalized Medicine AI has been used in personalized medicine to develop patient-specific treatment plans. In a recent study, AI-based deep learning models were used to predict the response of breast cancer patients to a particular drug. The model was trained on a dataset of patient data, including clinical data, genomic data, and histopathological data. The model was then used to predict the response of new patients to the drug. The predictions were validated experimentally and the results showed that the model had high accuracy in predicting the response of patients to the drug. Case Study 3 – Clinical Decision Support Systems AI has been used to develop clinical decision support systems to assist healthcare providers in making better treatment decisions. In a recent study, an AI-based system was developed to predict the risk of adverse drug events in hospitalized patients. The system was trained on a dataset of patient data, including clinical data, medication data, and laboratory data. The system was then used to predict the risk of adverse drug events in new patients. 
the predictions were validated experimentally and the results showed that the system had high accuracy in predicting the risk of adverse drug events. Hayes study 4 Medical Imaging AI has been used in medical imaging to improve the accuracy of diagnosis and treatment planning. In a recent study, AI-based deep learning models were used to detect lung nodules in CT scans. The model was trained on a dataset of CT scans including scans with and without nodules. The model was then used to detect nodules in new scans. The predictions were validated experimentally, and the results showed that the model had high accuracy in detecting nodules. Conclusion The use of AI in pharmacology has opened up new avenues for drug discovery, personalized medicine, clinical decision support, and medical imaging. The case studies discussed in this chapter demonstrate the potential of AI to revolutionize the field of pharmacology. However, there are also challenges and limitations that need to be addressed, including ethical concerns and data quality issues. As AI technology continues to evolve, it is expected that it will play an increasingly significant role in the development of new drugs and personalized treatments, ultimately improving patient outcomes. Chapter 29 Case Studies of Successful AI Applications in Pharmacology Introduction Artificial intelligence has shown tremendous potential in revolutionizing pharmacology from drug discovery to personalized medicine. In this chapter, we will discuss some successful case studies where AI has been applied in pharmacology and has led to significant advancements in drug development and patient care. Case study 1, Adam Wise. Adam Wise is a startup company that uses AI technology for drug discovery. In one of its successful case studies, Adam Wise collaborated with the University of California, San Francisco to discover new drugs for Ebola virus. Adam Wise used its AI platform to analyze millions of compounds to find potential drugs that could bind to the Ebola virus protein. Through this approach, Adam Wise identified two compounds with the potential to treat Ebola, which were then validated through experiments. Case study 2 in Silico Medicine. In Silico Medicine is a company that uses AI for drug discovery and aging research. In one of its successful case studies, in Silico Medicine used AI to develop a drug for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a condition that causes scarring in the lungs. In Silico Medicine used its AI platform to screen millions of compounds and identified a small molecule drug candidate that has the potential to treat IPF. The drug candidate was then validated through experiments and found to be effective in preclinical studies. Case Study 3 OWKIN OWKIN is a company that uses AI for medical research and drug discovery. In one of its successful case studies, OWKIN collaborated with the Institut Curie in France to develop a predictive model for the response of breast cancer patients to treatment. OWKIN used its AI platform to analyze patient data and identify features that could predict patient response to treatment. The predictive model developed by OWKIN was found to be more accurate than traditional methods and could help in personalized treatment planning for breast cancer patients. Case Study 4 PATI PATI is a company that uses AI for pathology and drug development. In one of its successful case studies, PATI collaborated with Bristol Myers Squibb to develop a deep learning model for the detection of cancer in tissue samples. PATI used its AI platform to analyze pathology images and identify features that could predict cancer. The deep learning model developed by PATI was found to be highly accurate in identifying cancer and could help in improving the speed and accuracy of cancer diagnosis. Conclusion these case studies demonstrate the potential of AI in advancing drug development and personalized medicine. AI-based approaches can significantly reduce the time and cost involved in drug discovery and help in developing more effective and targeted therapies. However, there are still challenges and limitations that need to be addressed, such as the lack of transparency and interpretability of AI models and ethical considerations around the use of patient data. Nevertheless, AI is expected to continue to have a significant impact on pharmacology and transform the way drugs are discovered and developed. Chapter 30 AI-Assisted Drug Development 
and clinical trials. Artificial intelligence has become an increasingly important tool in drug development and clinical trials. With the rapid advancements in AI technology, it is now possible to perform tasks that were previously impossible or impractical. AI has the potential to revolutionize the drug development process, making it faster, more efficient, and more cost effective. In this chapter, we will explore how AI is being used in drug development and clinical trials, the challenges and limitations of using AI, and the potential benefits of AI-assisted drug development. AI in drug development. The traditional drug development process is time-consuming and expensive. It can take up to 15 years and cost over $2 billion to bring a new drug to market. AI has the potential to speed up this process by identifying drug targets, designing new drugs, and predicting the safety and efficacy of new drugs. One of the most promising applications of AI in drug development is the use of machine learning algorithms to identify potential drug targets. By analyzing large datasets of genetic and protein data. AI algorithms can identify new targets for drugs and help to better understand the underlying mechanisms of disease. This can help drug developers to develop drugs that are more effective and have fewer side effects. Another way that AI is being used in drug development is in the design of new drugs. AI algorithms can be used to design molecules that are more likely to bind to specific targets, making them more effective as drugs. This can help to speed up the drug development process by reducing the number of compounds that need to be synthesized and tested. AI can also be used to predict the safety and efficacy of new drugs by analyzing large datasets of clinical trial data. AI algorithms can identify which patients are most likely to respond to a particular drug and which patients may experience adverse effects. This can help to streamline clinical trials, making them more efficient and cost effective. AI in clinical trials. Clinical trials are an essential part of the drug development process, but they are also expensive and time consuming. AI has the potential to make clinical trials more efficient and effective by identifying the right patients for clinical trials, predicting patient outcomes, and monitoring patient safety. One of the most promising applications of AI in clinical trials is the use of machine learning algorithms to identify the right patients for clinical trials. By analyzing large datasets of patient data, AI algorithms can identify patients who are most likely to respond to a particular drug and who are at the greatest risk of adverse effects. This can help to improve the efficiency of clinical trials by reducing the number of patients who need to be recruited and ensuring that only the most appropriate patients are enrolled. Another way that AI is being used in clinical trials is in the prediction of patient outcomes. By analyzing large datasets of clinical trial data, AI algorithms can predict how patients are likely to respond to a particular drug and what side effects they may experience. This can help to inform the design of future clinical trials, making them more efficient and effective. AI can also be used to monitor patient safety during clinical trials. By analyzing real-time data from patients, AI algorithms can detect adverse events and alert clinicians to potential safety issues. This can help to improve patient safety and reduce the risk of adverse events during clinical trials. Challenges and Limitations While AI has the potential to revolutionize drug development, and clinical trials. There are also a number of challenges and limitations that must be addressed. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of high quality data. AI algorithms rely on large datasets of high quality data to make accurate predictions. If the data is biased or incomplete, the algorithms may make inaccurate predictions, leading to false conclusions. Another challenge is the need for human expertise. While AI algorithms are capable of analyzing large amounts of data, they still require human expertise to interpret the results and make informed. Chapter 31 AI in Drug Discovery and Design Introduction 
The drug discovery and development process is a long and expensive journey, typically taking over a decade and costing billions of dollars. In recent years, artificial intelligence has emerged as a potential tool to streamline this process by reducing costs, accelerating the pace of drug discovery, and improving the success rates of clinical trials. One area where AI is particularly promising is drug discovery and design where AI algorithms can be used to design and optimize drugs with greater efficiency and accuracy. This chapter will provide an overview of AI applications in drug discovery and design, including the use of machine learning, deep learning, and other AI techniques to identify potential drug targets, design new drugs, and optimize drug properties. Types of AI techniques in drug discovery and design. There are several AI techniques that can be used in drug discovery and design, including 1. Machine learning. Machine learning algorithms can be trained on large datasets of known drugs and their associated properties to predict the properties of new drugs. This can be used to identify potential drug targets, optimize drug efficacy, and predict toxicity. Two, deep learning. Deep learning algorithms can be used to analyze complex molecular structures and identify potential drug candidates. These algorithms can also be used to optimize drug properties, such as solubility and bioavailability. Three, natural language processing. NLP techniques can be used to analyze scientific literature and identify potential drug targets and drug candidates. Applications of AI in drug discovery and design. There are several ways that AI is being used in drug discovery and design, including 1. Target identification. AI algorithms can be used to analyze genomic data and identify potential drug targets. This can help researchers to identify new drug targets more quickly and accurately. Two, compound screening. AI algorithms can be used to screen large libraries of compounds and identify potential drug candidates. This can significantly reduce the time and cost involved in the drug discovery process. Three, drug design and optimization. AI algorithms can be used to design and optimize drug properties, such as efficacy, toxicity, and bioavailability. This can help researchers to identify and develop more effective drugs more quickly. For clinical trial design, AI algorithms can be used to optimize clinical trial design by identifying patient subgroups that are most likely to respond to a particular drug. Challenges and limitations. While AI has the potential to revolutionize drug discovery and design, there are also several challenges and limitations that must be addressed, including 1. Data availability, AI algorithms require large amounts of high quality data to be effective. However, there is often a lack of available data in drug discovery and design, particularly for rare diseases. So, interpreting results, AI algorithms can be difficult to interpret, particularly for complex molecular structures. This can make it challenging to identify the most promising drug candidates. 3. Ethical considerations. There are also ethical considerations associated with the use of AI in drug discovery and design, particularly around issues such as data privacy and informed consent. Conclusion. AI has the potential to significantly accelerate the drug discovery and design process, reducing costs and improving success rates. While there are challenges and limitations that must be addressed, the promise of AI in drug discovery and design is clear. As AI technologies continue to evolve and become more sophisticated, it is likely that we will see an increasing number of successful applications of AI in this field. Chapter 32, AI in Clinical Trials. Clinical trials are a crucial component of the drug development process. The traditional clinical trial process is time consuming and expensive. However, the integration of artificial intelligence technology into clinical trials is changing the landscape of drug development. AI technology can aid in various aspects of clinical trials, including patient selection, trial design, monitoring, and data analysis. In this chapter, we will explore the applications of AI in clinical trials and its potential to revolutionize the drug development process. Patient selection. 
AI can help identify suitable candidates for clinical trials by analyzing electronic health records and medical histories. AI algorithms can quickly and accurately identify potential candidates by analyzing large amounts of data and identifying common characteristics among suitable patients. This approach can reduce recruitment costs and time and lead to more efficient and successful clinical trials. Trial Design Designing clinical trials is a complex process that involves balancing ethical considerations, statistical power, and scientific rigor. AI can help optimize the trial design by analyzing data from previous clinical trials and predicting the optimal design. AI algorithms can also identify potential safety issues such as adverse events before they occur, thereby improving the safety of the trial. Monitoring AI can help monitor patients in clinical trials by analyzing data from wearable devices and EHRs. By analyzing data in real time, AI can identify adverse events and other safety concerns and alert clinical trial staff properly. This approach can improve patient safety and reduce the likelihood of complications during the trial. Data analysis. The sheer volume of data generated by clinical trials can be overwhelming for traditional data analysis methods. AI can help analyze and interpret large amounts of data, making it easier to identify meaningful patterns and draw conclusions. By analyzing data in real time, AI can help identify safety concerns and efficacy of the drug which can reduce the risk of late-stage clinical trial failures. AI in clinical trials offers several benefits, including reduced costs, improved safety, and more efficient drug development. However, several challenges must be addressed before AI can become a standard practice in clinical trials. Ethical concerns, regulatory barriers, and the need for human oversight are significant challenges that must be addressed before AI can be integrated into clinical trials fully. Despite these challenges, AI has the potential to revolutionize the clinical trial process and change the landscape of drug development. Chapter 33, The Future of AI in Precision Medicine Precision medicine, also known as personalized medicine, is an emerging field that aims to provide individualized medical care based on an individual's genetic makeup lifestyle, and environment. The approach has shown promising results in improving patient outcomes, especially in the treatment of cancer. However, precision medicine is highly data-intensive and requires the integration of multiple data sources, including genomics, protomics, metabolomics, electronic health records, and environmental data. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize precision medicine by enabling the integration and analysis of vast amounts of data to provide more personalized and effective treatments. In this chapter, we will discuss the future of AI in precision medicine, including its potential applications, benefits, and challenges. Applications of AI in precision medicine AI has the potential to transform precision medicine in several ways. Some of the most promising applications of AI in precision medicine include 1. Personalized treatment recommendations. AI can analyze an individual's genetic data, medical history, lifestyle, and environmental factors to provide personalized treatment recommendations. This approach can help clinicians choose the most effective treatment for a patient based on their unique characteristics and circumstances. 2. Disease diagnosis. AI can help diagnose diseases by analyzing patient data and detecting patterns that may indicate the presence of a disease. This can help identify diseases at an earlier stage when they are more treatable. 3. Drug discovery. AI can assist in drug discovery by analyzing vast amounts of data to identify potential drug targets and predict the efficacy of new drugs. This can help accelerate the drug discovery process and lead to the development of more effective treatments. 4. Predictive modeling. AI can create predictive models that can forecast disease outcomes and patient responses to treatments. This can help clinicians make informed decisions about patient care and optimize treatment plans. Benefits of AI in precision medicine. The use of AI in precision medicine offers several benefits, including 1. 
improved diagnosis and treatment, AI can help clinicians identify diseases at an earlier stage, select the most effective treatments, and optimize treatment plans based on patient data. Two, personalized medicine. AI can provide personalized treatment recommendations based on an individual's unique genetic makeup lifestyle and environmental factors this approach can improve patient outcomes and reduce the risk of adverse drug reactions three faster drug discovery ai can accelerate the drug discovery process by analyzing vast amounts of data to identify potential drug targets and predict the efficacy of new drugs for reduce healthcare costs ai can help clinicians make informed decisions about patient care optimize treatment plans and reduce the risk of adverse drug reactions this can lead to improved patient outcomes and reduce healthcare costs challenges of ai in precision medicine despite the potential benefits of ai in precision medicine there are several challenges that must be addressed including one Data integration. Precision medicine requires the integration of multiple data sources, including genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, electronic health records, and environmental data. This presents a significant challenge in terms of data standardization, quality control, and interoperability. Two, privacy and security. The use of AI in precision medicine requires the correction and analysis of sensitive patient data. This raises concerns about patient privacy and data security, and it is essential to develop robust data protection and security measures to ensure patient confidentiality. Three, bias and interpretability. AI algorithms are only as good as the data they are trained on, and there is a risk of bias in the data that could lead to inaccurate predictions or recommendations. It is essential to ensure that AI algorithms are transparent and interpretable, and that they do not reinforce existing biases in healthcare. Conclusion. The use of AI in precision medicine has the potential to transform the way we diagnose and treat diseases by enabling the integration and analysis of vast amounts of data. AI can provide more. Chapter thirty-four: Personalized Medicine and AI. Personalized medicine is an emerging field that aims to tailor medical treatment to the individual characteristics of each patient, taking into account their genetic makeup. Lifestyle and environment. Advances in genomics, proteomics, and other technologies have enabled the development of targeted therapies that can be more effective and less toxic than traditional treatments. AI has the potential to revolutionize personalized medicine by providing tools for more accurate diagnosis, more effective treatment selection, and more efficient drug development. Here are some examples of how AI is being used in personalized medicine. One. Genomics and AI. Genomic data is complex, and AI can help identify patterns and associations that may be missed by human analysis. AI tools can be used to predict an individual's risk of developing a particular disease based on their genetic makeup, and to identify which treatments are likely to be most effective. Two, medical imaging and AI. AI can be used to analyze medical images. Such as MRI scans or X-rays to detect early signs of disease and to track disease progression. This can help clinicians to make more accurate diagnoses and to monitor the effectiveness of treatment. Three, electronic health records and AI. Electronic health records contain vast amounts of patient data, but this data is often difficult to access. And interpret. AI can be used to extract relevant information from EHRs. Such as patient demographics, medical history, and laboratory test results, and to identify patterns and associations that may be relevant to diagnosis and treatment. For drug development and AI, AI can be used to analyze large datasets of chemical compounds to identify potential drug candidates that are more likely to be effective and less toxic than traditional treatments. This can help to speed up the drug development process. And to reduce the cost of bringing new treatments to market, while AI has the potential to revolutionize personalized medicine, there are also challenges and limitations that need to be addressed. 
For example, there are concerns about the accuracy and interpretability of AI algorithms, as well as the ethical and legal implications of using AI to make medical decisions. Despite these challenges, the future of personalized medicine is closely intertwined with AI. As AI technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more sophisticated and accurate tools for diagnosis, treatment selection, and drug development. This has the potential to transform the way we approach medical care and to improve health outcomes for patients around the world. Chapter 35 Advancements in AI for Precision Medicine Precision medicine aims to tailor treatments to individual patients based on their genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. With the help of artificial intelligence, precision medicine has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach healthcare by providing more accurate and personalized diagnoses, treatments, and predictions of disease outcomes. In this chapter, we will explore the advancements in AI for precision medicine, including 1. Genomic Analysis AI algorithms can analyze large genomic datasets to identify genetic variants associated with diseases and drug responses. This can help in developing targeted therapies for specific patient populations. Two, drug discovery and development AI can help in the identification of new drug targets and the development of novel drugs. This includes drug repurposing where AI algorithms can analyze existing drugs and identify new therapeutic uses. 3. Clinical decision support AI can assist clinicians in making accurate diagnoses and treatment decisions by analyzing patient data, including medical histories, diagnostic tests, and imaging results. 4. Predictive modeling AI can be used to create predictive models that forecast disease risk and treatment outcomes based on individual patient data. This can help in developing personalized treatment plans. 5. Patient monitoring AI can analyze patient data in real time to detect and predict disease progression, allowing for timely interventions. Advancements in AI for precision medicine have the potential to improve patient outcomes and reduce healthcare costs. However, there are challenges that need to be addressed, such as the need for high-quality data, ethical considerations, and regulatory frameworks. Genomic Analysis One of the most promising applications of AI in precision medicine is in the analysis of genomic data. AI algorithms can identify patterns and relationships in large genomic datasets that would be difficult for humans to identify. This can help in identifying genetic variants that are associated with disease susceptibility or drug response. AI can also be used to analyze genetic data to develop personalized treatment plans. For example, AI algorithms can analyze a patient's genetic profile and identify potential drug interactions or adverse drug reactions. This can help clinicians choose the most appropriate medications for individual patients. Drug discovery and development. AI is also being used to accelerate drug discovery and development. By analyzing large datasets of molecular structures and drug interactions, AI algorithms can identify new drug targets and potential drug candidates. This includes drug repurposing where AI algorithms can analyze existing drugs and identify new therapeutic uses. This can help in developing new treatments for diseases that are difficult to treat with traditional drug discovery methods. Clinical Decision Support AI can assist clinicians in making accurate diagnoses and treatment decisions by analyzing patient data, including medical histories, diagnostic tests, and imaging results. For example, AI algorithms can analyze medical images to identify potential disease markers or assist in the interpretation of diagnostic tests. This can help in making more accurate diagnoses and developing personalized treatment plans. Predictive Modeling 
AI can be used to create predictive models that forecast disease risk and treatment outcomes based on individual patient data. This can help in developing personalized treatment plans that are tailored to the specific needs of individual patients. For example, AI algorithms can analyze a patient's medical history, genetic data, and lifestyle factors to predict their risk of developing a particular disease. This can help in developing early interventions to prevent or manage the disease. Patient monitoring. AI can be used to monitor patients in real time to detect and predict disease progression, allowing for timely interventions. For example, AI algorithms can analyze patient data from wearable devices to detect early signs of disease or monitor treatment outcomes. This can help in developing personalized treatment plans that are tailored to the specific needs of individual patients. Conclusion Advancements in AI for precision medicine have the potential to revolutionize healthcare by providing more accurate and personalized diagnoses, treatments, and predictions of disease outcomes. However, there are challenges that need to be addressed, such as the need for high. Chapter 36, Regulatory Landscape and Ethical Considerations. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize the field of medicine including pharmacology by enabling personalized treatments, accelerating drug discovery, and improving patient outcomes. However, the widespread adoption of AI in healthcare requires consideration of ethical and regulatory issues to ensure patient safety, privacy, and fairness. Regulatory Landscape The use of AI in healthcare is subject to regulatory oversight by various agencies, including the U.S., Food and Drug Administration and the European Medicines Agency. The FDAS Center for Devices and Radiological Health is responsible for regulating medical devices that incorporate AI or machine learning algorithms. The FDA has issued guidelines for the development and validation of AI algorithms used in medical devices, including recommendations for data quality, algorithm transparency, and user validation. Similarly, the IMAR has issued guidelines for the use of AI in drug development and regulatory decision making. The IMAR's guidelines require that the use of AI in drug development be supported by robust scientific evidence and that the algorithms be transparent, validated, and explainable. Ethical considerations. The use of AI in pharmacology also raises ethical considerations related to privacy, equity, and bias. The collection and use of patient data in. AI algorithms must adhere to strict privacy regulations to protect patient confidentiality. Furthermore, AI algorithms must be designed to avoid perpetuating bias and inequity in healthcare. Bias can arise from a lack of diversity in training data, which can result in algorithms that do not accurately represent all populations. Another ethical consideration is the potential impact of AI on the workforce. The integration of AI into healthcare may lead to job displacement for healthcare workers who perform tasks that can be automated. Therefore, the development and implementation of AI in healthcare must be done in a way that preserves job opportunities and ensures a just transition for those affected. Conclusion The development and application of AI in pharmacology have the potential to revolutionize drug discovery and personalize medicine. However, the widespread adoption of AI in healthcare requires consideration of regulatory and ethical issues to ensure patient safety privacy, and fairness. Regulatory bodies such as the FDA and IMAM must continue to provide guidance on the development and validation of AI algorithms in healthcare. While ethical considerations must be incorporated into the design and implementation of AI systems to avoid perpetuating bias and inequity in healthcare. Chapter 37, Regulatory Frameworks and Guidelines for AI in Pharmacology. As the application of artificial intelligence in pharmacology continues to grow, it becomes important to address the regulatory and ethical challenges that come with it. Regulatory agencies such as the U.S., 
Food and Drug Administration and the European Medicines Agency are responsible for ensuring the safety and efficacy of drugs, devices, and other medical products. Therefore, they must adapt their policies to accommodate the growing use of AI in the pharmaceutical industry. In recent years, regulatory agencies have recognized the need to create guidelines and frameworks specific to AI in pharmacology. In the United States, the FDA issued a discussion paper in 2019 titled Proposed Regulatory Framework for Modifications to Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning Based Software as a Medical Device. This paper laid out a framework for regulating AI-based software as medical devices and included recommendations for the development, validation, and monitoring of such software. Similarly, the EMAP published a reflection paper in 2020 titled Regulatory Reflection on the Use of Artificial Intelligence in Pharmacovigilance. The paper addressed the use of AI in pharmacovigilance, which involves monitoring the safety of drugs and identifying adverse effects. The paper emphasized the importance of transparency, accountability, and the need to ensure that AI is used in a manner consistent with ethical and legal standards. Other regulatory agencies around the world are also developing frameworks and guidelines for AI in pharmacology. For example, Health Canada released a guidance document in 2021 on the regulation of software as a medical device, which included recommendations for the use of AI-based software. In addition to regulatory frameworks, ethical considerations are also a major concern when it comes to AI in pharmacology. The use of AI raises questions about data privacy, bias, and the potential for AI to replace human judgment. Therefore, it is important to ensure that AI is used in a way that is ethical and respectful of patients' rights. To address these ethical concerns, organizations such as the World Health Organization have developed guidelines for the ethical use of AI in healthcare, the whose guidelines emphasize the importance of transparency, privacy and the need to ensure that AI is used in a way that respects human dignity and human rights. In conclusion, the development of regulatory frameworks and ethical guidelines is an important step in ensuring the safe and effective use of AI in pharmacology. As AI continues to advance and become more prevalent in the pharmaceutical industry, it is crucial that these frameworks and guidelines continue to evolve to address the unique challenges and ethical considerations that come with the use of AI in healthcare. Chapter Ethical Considerations for AI Applications in Pharmacology As artificial intelligence becomes more integrated into the field of pharmacology, there are several ethical considerations that must be addressed to ensure the responsible use of these technologies. AI algorithms have the ability to analyze vast amounts of data to predict drug interactions and identify potential drug targets, but their effectiveness and reliability must be balanced against concerns of privacy, bias, and equity. In this chapter, we will discuss some of the key ethical considerations for AI applications in pharmacology. Privacy. One of the primary concerns with AI in pharmacology is the collection and storage of personal health information. As AI algorithms rely on large amounts of data to be effective, they may need to access sensitive patient information such as medical histories, genetic data, and lifestyle choices. This information must be stored securely and be subject to strict data privacy regulations to prevent unauthorized access or misuse. Patients must be fully informed of how their data is being used and have the right to opt out of any data sharing or processing that they do not consent to. Bias. Another ethical consideration for AI in pharmacology is the potential for bias in the algorithms used to analyze and interpret data. AI algorithms are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on and if the data sets used to develop these algorithms are not diverse, the results may be skewed. For example, if a data set only includes information on a specific demographic group, such as white males, AI algorithms may not be effective at predicting drug interactions or outcomes for other groups. This could result in inadequate treatment for certain groups, leading to poorer health outcomes. Equity. There is also a concern for equity in the development and deployment of AI technologies in pharmacology. 
if AI algorithms are only accessible to certain individuals or institutions. There is a risk that this technology could exacerbate existing inequalities in healthcare. It is essential that AI is developed and deployed in an equitable way to ensure that all patients, regardless of socioeconomic status, have access to the benefits of these technologies. Regulations The regulatory landscape for AI in pharmacology is still evolving and there are currently no established guidelines or regulations specific to AI applications in this field. Regulatory bodies must work together to develop clear standards for the development, testing and deployment of AI technologies in pharmacology to ensure patient safety and protect against misuse. It is also essential that AI algorithms are transparent and explainable with clear documentation of their decision-making processes. Conclusion AI has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology, but it is important that its development and deployment are guided by ethical considerations to ensure patient safety, privacy, and equity. The development of clear guidelines and regulations specific to AI in pharmacology is essential to ensure the responsible use of these technologies. By working together, healthcare professionals, regulatory bodies, and AI developers can ensure that these technologies are developed in a way that benefits all patients. Chapter 38 Ethical Considerations for AI Applications in Pharmacology As artificial intelligence becomes more integrated into the field of pharmacology, there are several ethical considerations that must be addressed to ensure the responsible use of these technologies. AI algorithms have the ability to analyze vast amounts of data to predict drug interactions and identify potential drug targets, but their effectiveness and reliability must be balanced against concerns of privacy, bias, and equity. In this chapter, we will discuss some of the key ethical considerations for AI applications in pharmacology. Privacy. One of the primary concerns with AI in pharmacology is the collection and storage of personal health information. As AI algorithms rely on large amounts of data to be effective, they may need to access sensitive patient information such as medical histories, genetic data, and lifestyle choices. This information must be stored securely and be subject to strict data privacy regulations to prevent unauthorized access or misuse. Patients must be fully informed of how their data is being used and have the right to opt out of any data sharing or processing that they do not consent to. Bias. Another ethical consideration for AI in pharmacology is the potential for bias in the algorithms used to analyze and interpret data. AI algorithms are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on and if the data sets used to develop these algorithms are not diverse, the results may be skewed. For example, if a data set only includes information on a specific demographic group, such as white males, AI algorithms may not be effective at predicting drug interactions or outcomes for other groups. This could result in inadequate treatment for certain groups, leading to poor health outcomes. There is also a concern for equity in the development and deployment of AI technologies in pharmacology. If AI algorithms are only accessible to certain individuals or institutions, there is a risk that this technology could exacerbate existing inequalities in healthcare. It is essential that AI is developed and deployed in an equitable way to ensure that all patients, regardless of socioeconomic status, have access to the benefits of these technologies. Regulations The regulatory landscape for AI in pharmacology is still evolving and there are currently no established guidelines or regulations specific to AI applications in this field. Regulatory bodies must work together to develop clear standards for the development, testing, and deployment of AI technologies in pharmacology to ensure patient safety and protect against misuse. It is also essential that AI algorithms are transparent and explainable with clear documentation of their decision-making processes. Inclusion AI has the potential to revolutionize the field of pharmacology, but it is important that its development and deployment are guided by ethical considerations to ensure patient safety, privacy, and equity. 
the development of clear guidelines and regulations specific to AI in pharmacology is essential to ensure the responsible use of these technologies. By working together, healthcare professionals, regulatory bodies, and AI developers can ensure that these technologies are developed in a way that benefits our patients. Chapter 39, Ethical Considerations for AI Applications in Pharmacology. Introduction. The rapid development of artificial intelligence technology has revolutionized the field of pharmacology with the potential to enhance drug discovery, development, and patient care. However, as with any emerging technology, the use of AI in pharmacology raises several ethical considerations that must be addressed to ensure its responsible and effective use. Data privacy. One of the most significant ethical concerns with AI in pharmacology is the protection of patient data privacy. AI algorithms require large amounts of patient data to function effectively, including sensitive health information. Therefore, it is essential to establish robust data protection policies to safeguard patient privacy and prevent the misuse of personal health information. Algorithm bias. Another ethical issue with AI in pharmacology is algorithm bias. Machine learning algorithms are only as good as the data they are trained on and if the training data is biased, the algorithm will learn those biases. This can lead to algorithmic discrimination against certain patient populations, particularly those who are underrepresented in the training data. To address this issue, it is necessary to ensure that the training data is representative of the patient population as a whole transparency and explainability. Another critical ethical concern with AI in pharmacology is the lack of transparency and explainability of AI algorithms. As AI algorithms become increasingly complex, it becomes more challenging to understand how they arrived at their decisions. This can make it difficult for physicians and regulatory bodies to assess the safety and efficacy of AI-based therapies. To address this issue, it is necessary to develop transparent and explainable AI algorithms that can be audited and understood by physicians and regulatory bodies. Informed consent. Finally, the use of AI in pharmacology raises questions about informed consent. Patients have the right to be informed about the use of their data in AI algorithms and the potential risks and benefits of AI-based therapies. Therefore, it is essential to obtain informed consent from patients before using their data in AI algorithms and to ensure that patients understand the implications of their consent fully. Conclusion The use of AI in pharmacology has enormous potential to revolutionize drug discovery, development, and patient care. However, it is essential to address the ethical considerations associated with this technology to ensure its responsible and effective use. Robust data privacy policies, representative training data, transparent and explainable algorithms, and informed consent are critical steps towards achieving ethical and effective AI applications in pharmacology. Chapter 40 Conclusions and Future Directions In conclusion, Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize pharmacology by improving drug development, clinical trials, and personalized medicine. Machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing, and big data analytics are some of the AI techniques being applied in pharmacology. These techniques have shown promising results in drug discovery and design predicting drug responses, and developing personalized treatment plans for patients. However, there are also challenges and limitations to the application of AI in pharmacology, such as ethical considerations, regulatory frameworks, data quality, and model interpretability. Therefore, it is important to address these issues to ensure the safe and effective use of AI in pharmacology. The future directions for AI in pharmacology include improving data quality and standardization, developing more interpretable models, enhancing collaboration between industry and academia, and increasing regulatory guidelines and oversight. Furthermore, the integration of AI with other technologies such as blockchain, Internet of Things, and cloud computing can provide more robust and secure platforms for drug development and personalized medicine. In conclusion, 
AI has the potential to transform pharmacology and improve patient outcomes. However, it is important to ensure responsible and ethical use of these technologies to avoid potential harm. Therefore, continued research and collaboration between scientists, clinicians, regulators, and ethicists is essential for realizing the full potential of AI in pharmacology. Chapter 41, Summary of Key Themes and Insights. In this book, we have explored the various applications of artificial intelligence in pharmacology. AI has revolutionized the drug development process, making it faster and more efficient. It has also enabled precision medicine, allowing for personalized treatment plans for individual patients. We have discussed machine learning techniques, such as supervised and unsupervised learning and their applications in pharmacology. Deep learning has also been explored with its ability to analyze complex data sets and make predictions based on that data. Computer vision and natural language processing have also been discussed, highlighting their potential in drug discovery and design. Big data analytics has played a significant role in AI applications in pharmacology, allowing for the analysis of large data sets and the extraction of meaningful insights. We have also explored the regulatory frameworks and ethical considerations surrounding AI applications in pharmacology, emphasizing the need for responsible and transparent use of AI in healthcare. Overall, AI has the potential to significantly impact the pharmaceutical industry from drug discovery and development to clinical trials and personalized medicine. As the field of AI continues to evolve, it will be essential to ensure that it is used responsibly, ethically, and with the patient's best interests in mind. In conclusion, this book has provided a comprehensive overview of AI applications in pharmacology highlighting its potential and the challenges that need to be addressed. As AI technologies continue to advance, we can expect to see even more exciting developments in the field of pharmacology, ultimately leading to better patient outcomes and improved public health. Chapter 42, Future Directions for AI in Pharmacology. As AI technologies continue to evolve, the field of pharmacology is likely to see a growing number of applications of AI in drug discovery, design, and development. Here are some potential future directions for AI in pharmacology. One, Predictive analytics, AI algorithms can help analyze vast amounts of data and identify patterns that can be used to predict drug efficacy and safety. This could help pharmaceutical companies identify potential drug candidates more efficiently and reduce the risk of expensive late-stage clinical trial failures. Two, real-time drug monitoring, wearable devices and implantable sensors can provide real-time data on patient health. AI algorithms can process this data to monitor the effectiveness of drugs and provide feedback to physicians and researchers. Three, personalized medicine. AI algorithms can help identify genetic markers and other biomarkers that can be used to develop personalized treatment plans for patients. This could lead to more effective treatments and better outcomes for patients. For drug repurposing, AI can be used to analyze large data sets of drug compounds to identify new uses for existing drugs. This can save time and money in the drug development process, as the existing drugs have already undergone some degree of testing for safety and efficacy. Five, collaboration and data sharing as AI technologies continue to advance. It will become increasingly important for researchers and pharmaceutical companies to collaborate and share data. This will help to create a more comprehensive understanding of drug efficacy and safety and accelerate the development of new treatments. Six, explainable AI as AI algorithms are increasingly used in drug development and clinical decision making it will be important to ensure that the algorithms are transparent and explainable. This will help build trust in the technology and ensure that it is used ethically. Seven, integration with other technologies. AI can be used in conjunction with other technologies, such as blockchain and the Internet of Things, to create a more comprehensive understanding of drug efficacy and safety. This can help to reduce errors and improve patient outcomes. Overall, the potential applications of AI in pharmacology are vast and varied. 
while there are still many challenges to overcome, such as regulatory and ethical considerations, the future looks bright for AI in pharmacology. By continuing to invest in research and development, we can unlock the full potential of AI to revolutionize the field of drug discovery and development and improve patient outcomes. Thank you.